Hey guys, so today we're making some Marry Me Salmon and Shrimp. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I have four pieces of salmon here and I am just going to season it with some Old Bay. Um, this is frozen salmon fillets, but if you want to use fresh salmon, you can. I'm just using whatever I have in my home. And so I'm also going to put on some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, um, if you have some onion powder, put some onion powder on there and then I'm putting some black pepper and you want to make sure you season your food very well. Okay. And we're going to season both sides. I don't care what seasonings you use. Just make sure your food is not bland. We don't want no bland food y'all. Okay. And so after you, uh, season both sides of your fish, um, you can either cook it on the stove or if you ain't got time for all that, you can put it in the oven or your air fryer or whatever you got. And so um, next I'm going to season my shrimp. And so I'm going to put the same seasonings as I did on the salmon. You don't have to make shrimp with this, but I thought it would be a nice addition to this dish. And so I know you guys have heard of Marry Me Chicken because it has been uh, a viral recipe um in the past or for months or however long um but this is uh marry me salmon and shrimp or it's similar to like tuscan salmon same thing <laughs> and so i'm going to season my shrimp and um i'm going to saute those on the stove i'm also going to cook my fish on the stove so I'm going to make my shrimp first and then my fish. And so I'm just using some garlic infused olive oil. And I got this from a local shop in my town. And it was actually a gift from my supervisor. So thank you for the gift, girl. Um, and so I'm just going to saute my shrimp. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp. So literally probably like a minute on each side or whatever. Because it's going to continue to cook. Um, and so after I cook my shrimp, I'm going to add some more oil to the pan. You can also use butter. And so I'm going to add my fish fillets to the, the skillet. Again, you can make this in the oven if you'd like, or you can um, broil it in your air fryer, whatever is easiest for you. Um, so I'm going to brown it on both sides. And so um, this was probably like three minutes or so on each side. You don't want to overcook your fish. Um, and so next I'm going to add in a few little teaspoons of butter and I'm going to baste my fish. Totally optional, but this is going to add some additional flavor. Um, and then once that is done, I'm going to remove it from my pan and I'm going to place it on the plate because next I need to boil my pasta and make my sauce. And so make sure you salt your water and I'm using spaghetti noodles for this recipe, but you can use whatever shaped pasta you like um in the past i have used because i made um some marry me chicken too not on the same day but in the past but i used rotini and so it was good with that um but whatever you want to use is fine and so next i am just going to saute a little bit of kale if you don't have kale you can use some spinach um and i'm just going to season this with some salt and pepper you don't have to overdo it because this is going to go into your sauce and it's going to have some other additional seasonings in there as well and so next um you're going to add in some sun-dried tomatoes um these are packed in oil with some italian herbs and you're just going to saute that for a little bit um and i ended up using a whole jar but you can use as much or as little as you'd like and after um my kale has wilted down a little bit i'm adding in a few cloves of fresh garlic and then I'm going to add in some heavy cream. And so I ended up adding the whole container of heavy cream. That's uh, a quart sized uh, container of heavy cream. And then you're going to let that simmer um, just until it starts to thicken up. And again, you want to make sure you season every layer of your food. You don't want bland food. I promise you, you don't. <laughs> and so I'm just going to add in the same seasonings I've been using. The Old Bay garlic powder onion powder if you have it I didn't have any some smoked paprika some black pepper I'm also going to add in a little bit of some sea salt just for some additional flavor um you could also just add in a little bit of chicken broth to your sauce if you want but I didn't do that 
and um, I'm also going to add in a little bit of some Italian seasoning okay and you want to make sure that you taste your food as you go so this is some um, freshly grated Parmesan cheese that I'm going to add in there and then um, before you add your cheese you want to make sure that you turn your heat off so that your sauce doesn't break and then I'm just going to add in some fresh basil and I'm going to stir that up you can add your fish and shrimp to the sauce if you'd like but I didn't want to do that I wanted mine on the side just in case I wanted to eat the fish and the shrimp with something else but it's totally up to you if you want to add it to the sauce um, again season to your taste and this is pretty much it guys I am going to just add everything together so I'm adding my sauce to my spaghetti noodles and then I'm going to plate it up and I just want to say that I apologize for the lighting. I don't know if my ring light just wasn't on or it was like the sun and the time of day. It just wasn't hitting the camera right. But this is the finished product. Um, I am going to put some sauce on top of this. Um, but this was super easy, super delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I truly appreciate the support. See you next time. Bye.